uh, op school, die zijn gevallen. Seven-year-old Jos broke his arm after he fell on the playground at school. As his mother Kathleen describes, he was left with a double arm fracture, and once the plaster cast was removed, he had a completely crooked arm that wasn't working properly. As Jos explains in his own words, he couldn't turn his arm over and couldn't lay his hand flat, making it impossible to do somersaults or handstands. Jos's parents brought their son to Dr. Verstraken one year after the fall. The surgeon saw immediately that the bones in his left forearm had healed incorrectly. The bones grew back together, but in a completely wrong position. To correct such an injured arm like Jos's with traditional techniques is almost impossible. However, thanks to new 3D technology, the surgeon was able to achieve a good result. After taking scans of both of Jos's arms, the healthy right arm was used as a model to correct the injured left arm. As Jos's father Stefan explains, the doctor was very open about the fact that this was a completely new technology and asked them whether they would be willing to try it for their son. Kathleen understood that this was the only option if they wanted to see any real improvement in their son's condition. Dr. Verstraken stresses the importance of very close collaboration between a surgeon and a clinical engineer. The engineer designs the patient-specific guides, which are 3D printed and sterilized. During surgery, the guides are placed on the patient's bones and fit like a glove on the exact spot they are designed to go to. Once a guide is in place, the hardest part of the surgery is over. The next thing to be done is to drill the holes and cut the bone through the guide. For Yosa's arm, it was impossible to work with standard plates as the case was so complex. A custom plate was 3D printed in titanium and used to place the bones in the correct position. By putting the pegs in the pre-drilled holes, Dr. Verstraken was able to automatically correct the rotation by turning the bone in the planned position. This guaranteed the result he wanted to obtain. Kathleen was thrilled that even just a few days after the surgery, Jos regained the feeling in his fingers, a sensation he had not felt for six months. Without surgery, Jos would probably never have been able to play volleyball or do typical everyday things. Unfortunately in Jos's case, health insurance did not cover the expenses for this procedure. Jos's parents are convinced that this surgery was the only possible solution to help their son. Without this treatment, their boy would have had to live his whole life with a handicap. Now Jos has a completely normally functioning arm. After this experience with their son, Jos's parents are advocates for health insurance companies to cover procedures using this novel technology. <laughs>